Hello, welcome back. This is Greg from Online Language Academy and in this video I'm going to teach you how to pronounce any word in English. Let's go. Yes, pronunciation in English can be difficult. Most of my 15 years experience has been teaching Spanish students English and they are used to pronouncing every letter in the word. So when we have silent letters or when we have sounds that simply don't exist in Spanish, they have great difficulty pronouncing the word. Sound familiar? Anyway, in this video I want to teach you basically three or four simple things that you can do to pronounce any word in English. And these are things that might seem common sense, but I'm pretty sure you aren't doing it. And if you aren't, you need to start doing it now. Now one fairly simple word that students often have difficulties with is crocodile. Right? This is because in, in Spanish it's cocodrilo, so the R comes in the middle of the word and not at the beginning of the word. But because my students are thinking of cocodrilo, they often say cocodrile or crocodile. This word doesn't come naturally in English for my Spanish students. So what do we do? Well, number one, just break the word up into syllables or sounds. In the example of crocodile, it only has three syllables. Cro -c -dial. Cro -c -dial. Okay, break it up into syllables and say it really, really slowly. Cro -c -dial. dial is an easy thing to say. Dial. However, if you try to say crocodile quickly, you sometimes say crocodile, right? So say it slowly. Cro -c -dial. Dial. C -dial. Cro -c -dial. Crocodile. 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 Break it up syllable by syllable. Say it exceptionally slowly and then get faster. Now there are words that have a combination of consonants which makes it really difficult for students like you to pronounce too. Words like crisps, all right, crisps. It's difficult for some native English speakers to pronounce too. Crisps, it only has one syllable, so what do we do? Well, we divide it up into not syllables, but sounds. Chris, you can say Chris. Chris is easy. The difficult part is what comes after. Chris. Crisps, 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 crisps. Okay, break it up into very small pieces. Say it really slowly and get quicker. It sounds simple, but hey, when you were riding a bike, did you start at 30 kilometers per hour? No. So why are you trying to pronounce difficult words at full speed before you've even mastered the pronunciation? Don't be shy, don't worry, say it slowly and you will get quicker as you practice. Let's look at some more difficult words to pronounce. Uh, before we do, just make sure you download my book, English Quick Fix. That is going to help you fix other parts of your broken English. Uh, the link is in the description for you to download that free. A very, very popular book, very worthwhile, and I want you to have it as a gift from me. The link is in the description and at the end of the video too, there will be a link. Okay, let's have a look at these next words. Clothes. 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 All right. Easy. Jewelry. Now, this is a really crazy uh, word to write. Yeah, it's spelt a bit weird. But the pronunciation is easy if we divide it into little sections. J -u -l -ri. J -u -l -ri. Okay, development. I don't know why, but some students try to put an extra syllable in there, like development. So we divide it into syllables or sounds, say it slowly, and get quicker. Development. Development. Okay, focus always on the stressed syllable if possible. Development, development. Say it slowly and get quicker. Development, development. What about this word? Literature. 
Okay, literature, literature, cha cha cha, t t t, le le le, literature, literature, literature. And even simple words like this can cause confusion in the pronunciation. It's three letters. There's four sounds. W a x, w a x, w a x, wax, wax. Okay, a lot of students forget the k, k sound in that. Say it slowly. W a x. Wax. Get quicker. And bingo! You pronounce it perfectly. Okay, I want you to do two things now. First, give the video a thumbs up. And secondly, write in the comments one word that you find difficult to pronounce. Look forward to hearing your comments, and I'll see you in the next English lesson. Bye for now.